What's up guys, Guillaume Zeren, welcome back to Pro Cycling Manager 2023 for episode number 66 of the Quantas Career Mode and in today's episode we shall begin the first Grand Tour of the season, the Giro d'Italia. We have a uh, custom parkour, should I say? It's the 2024 Giro, I think it is. Um, I could be wrong actually, I, I don't know, but I think it is. Uh, seven stages for the program today, from Napoli to Monte Petrano. Here we go. And to begin this Giro, we've got a time trial between Napoli and Pompeii. Uh, no Bastille present at the finish line. But an Ethan Hates are currently in the lead ahead of Wout van Aals and Bertrand Hagenes. Uh, we're top 10 with Darren Rafferty, and I think that's a very respectable uh, performance by our Irish rider. My voice is completely leaving myself right now. I can, I can hear it go, and that's wild. Um, we've got a climb coming up. I'm not a smoker or anything. I'm just, it's morning. But, uh, we're gonna try and accelerate in this hill. Because I think that's where Archie can lose the least amount of time. And, um, yeah, if I can lose less than two and a half minutes today, fuck me, I'm already a minute 21 down. Uh, but yeah, less than two minutes, I think it's a win. Cam Kovinopol is having a very good time trial. Uh, Stefan Pissega has taken the lead in Pompeii, only a second ahead of Cam Kovinopol at the third intermediate, who just overtakes Arch Ryan, who himself overtook Tobias Lund Andresen. I don't think it's a bad effort necessarily by Archie. We're going to lose 229 on Remco. That's, that's, I think that's fine. I think that's quite alright. Tiberi is going to lose a lot more. And I did not expect that from him. Across the line for Jasper Philipson, he will not take. Uh, the Magia Rossa, it's a win for Remco Venepol in Pompeii, the first leader of this 2024 Giro d'Italia. And we are on the way for stage number two, a sprint stage between Salerno and Paestum, 161 kilometers. Sprint wise, we've got Caleb Ewan and we have Matthew Bostock. Um, so hopefully, it's a sign of things to come. A, a, a nice plus three for, uh, for Caleb. Potentially a sprint win. Um, I think the sponsor's objective is a top three GC or top five GC, hence. Uh, Archie Ryan, Max Ball, and Darren Rafferty. Uh, but let's just see what uh, what happens comes the final sprint, because I don't think anything will happen before that. I have some news. They're not good. Uh, also, I'm wanting and blending in my seat. Uh, Caleb Ewan has been dropped. <clears throat> Matter of fact, my, my team got dropped in this hill. I wasn't paying attention, because uh, my, my, my PC was making a weird noise. Um... So I was paying attention to uh, the, the fan in my PC. I came back to like desk level. My team was behind. So um, yeah, safe. We're not sprinting for Caleb today. We're sprinting for Matthew Bostock. Finny Tarling is getting bullied. But hopefully he can uh, allow Darren Rafferty to take a, a decent positioning heading into the final corners in Pais Doom. Darren Rafferty, Nick Schultz, Max Paul, Matthew Bostock, we're not going to win today. Let's be perfectly clear. Uh, if I can even have a top 15, I think that'd be great. Because Max Paul is getting blocked, so is therefore Matthew Bostock. The win in this first road stage of the Giro 2028 is for Marijn Vandenberg. Ahead of Pierre Gotera and Bini Girmey, it is going to be 15th for Matthew Bostock. 13th. Hopefully today I don't get dropped as we have a hilly stage between Sorrento and Sorrento. Um, a few climbs along the way, a tricky finish with a, a hill and the final mm, maybe 5 kilometers. Uh, so it could be quite interesting to see how things play out. Is this in New Jersey? Hold up. Because I know there's a race where I've got, I've got a custom jersey but I'm just not used to, to the Qantas jersey yet. No, I think that's the OG one. I think that's the original one. There's been a massive crash in the peloton. More than 100 riders were involved. <laughs> and I'm not kidding. Uh, the likes of Vigan Bernal, World Van Arts were involved. As I said, a huge crash. 58 riders left in the peloton. Uh, some of my riders were dropped. They came back. We still have Finny Tarling in the breakaway alongside Matthias Norsgaard. Uh, he got all the mountain points. By E, I do mean uh, Matthias Norsgaard. Because I uh, joined the breakaway too late. But at least I'm getting consistent P2, so that's that's definitely something, right? Crashing the team, Caleb Ewan. Right, well. Algier is uh, officially finished for flat stages, that's that's good. Bye Caleb, thank you Caleb, bye! Five k to go, Ethan Stone is accelerating in this um, final hill. I'll see if I can, uh, oh, I was gonna say if I can drop some riders, I didn't think we'd only have eight. 
I, I expected maybe to see a bit more, but uh, I, I'm I'm happy with eight. That's that's fine by me. Three point five k to go. I don't think we're gonna take anything GC wise today, but I think we're gonna get the stage and avenge Caleb Ewan, who's on his way to the the, the nearest hospital following uh, his crash. Definitely a uh, like pneumothorax or some sort of injury for him. I have no idea, I didn't even see the crash. Archeron wins in Sorrento, ahead of Max Pool, and P3 for the Maglia Rossa of Remco Evenepoel. Flat stage, um, as I said, no more KB1, but Matthew Bostock, A plus four for one of the OGs of this save. He, he's been there from the very get-go. I don't think there's many riders in, left in this team that were here from day one, but Matthew Bostock has been here through 66 episodes. And what a nice way to reward this loyalty than a win as Jasper Philipson crashes very early on uh, with EF as well. And they've stopped. No, they're, okay, now they're pacing. Oh, they were just waiting on, on Marijn van Ender. Wait, what the fuck? EF, why? Why are you using your sprinter to pace? Who's, who's WAG1? Unless you're sprinting for Luis Sober? You've got two sprinters with 80. Can you, like, share one? Can I have, like, a loan, like, a 20 day loan deal? Or like a 10 day loan deal but renewable twice. That'd be good. 4k to go until the sprint in uh, Netuno. I am getting just blocked. Just, just, just everywhere I go, I'm getting blocked. Uh, Alright. Let's do that. Okay. Uh, Nick Schultz, pl please do something, Nick. Like, again, I'm getting blocked by Antonio Tiberi. And that's the end of our sprint. Yep, nothing I could do. Blocked FC, it's a win for Jensen Plow right. No, it's a win for Jordi Meus. Alpesin blocked me for no reason. If you're ready for another loss, raise your hand. Feed my microphone. The amount of effort it takes for my riders to be in a, in a good position is quite nuts. Darren Rafferty's P4 in the GC? Did not know that. Did, did he lose time on the... Uh... No, he... Okay. Well, we'll just... Oh, yeah, okay. He lost 4 seconds to Remco in the, uh, in the bonus seconds, I guess. Uh, Nick Schultz is getting blocked despite going 95, and that's that's the end of our sprint. <laughs> that's it. Max Paul has crashed. Fuck's sake. Archie Ryan's gonna wait for him. Yep, they're good. Good, 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 Fuck it, I'll just, I'll just do what I should have done from the get-go. Take someone's wheel and just, just go from here. Nope, because even if I take someone's wheel, I just die. Cool. Um, please bring me some mountain or some elevation so I can do something. It's a win for Jasper Philipsen ahead of Jordi Meus and Roneven. No, I don't know. Meus, Roneven, Ron Philipsen, Jonathan Milan. Uh, P nothing for us. No one's been dropped. That's the saving grace, I guess, following that crash. As Richard Carapaz finishes nearly last. I think I may have some more success today between Orbetejo and Monte Fiascone. 185 kilometers, a hilly stage. And the chance for us to come closer to Remco Evenepoel in the general classification. We sit 2 minutes and 19 seconds down with Archie Ryan, who has a plus 2 and 99 fitness. The fitness peak has not been triggered, but it should be triggered in the coming week, which is what matters. And um, yeah, let's fucking have it. Crash by Jasper Philipson as we start the final climb, the Monte Fiascone. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Let's play this differently. Let's go like this, like this, and like this. Uh, Maybe this. Yeah, that's better. All right, Darren Rafferty is going to sacrifice his uh, white jersey. Can Archie still fight for it? No. Max can. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think we'll, uh, we'll maybe... Um, Actually, no, Jan Christen is there. We are not getting the white jersey of this Giro d'Italia. Acceleration on the left, that's probably Antonio Tiberi. It is indeed. Nick Schultz is going to follow the acceleration of the Italian rider. Good work. Very good work by Nick Schultz. 900 meters to go. There is no flamme rouge in this stage. So beware if you want to play it. There goes Max Paul. Archie Ryan is in the wheel and it's going to be a second win for us and for Archie Ryan on this Giro d'Italia. A 1, 2, 3, 4, Quantas, get in. Final stage of this episode, or at least I think so, even though I'm seeing that the runtime is a bit short, but that's fine. Um, we have 
Petrignano, Monte Petrano, 166 kilometers for the first mountain stage to HC, uh, sorry, two first category comes with the Monte Catria and the Monte Nerone. Uh, I'll try and send Finlay in a breakaway, even though I've, it seems like I've missed the initial attack where we find the current best uh, climber in Matthias Norsgar. That's fine, it's, I didn't want the, the jersey either way. So, Finley made it to the first group. However, what I did not know is that in this first group, there's Adam Yates. That's a piece of information I would have liked to have. Just also, I'm gonna die, right? Finley Tarling has made it to the lead group, but he's dead. So I guess we've relied today on Archie Ryan and Max Ball, who both have lost a substantial amount of energy. Hopefully not too bad as uh, the as the Zer team of is it Davide Piganzoli? Who could the uh, Decathlon be pacing for? No, Ben O'Connor and Davide Piganzoli. Mostly Ben O'Connor as Davide is already 10 minutes behind Van Vilda. Van Vilda P4. Very strong team by uh, by Decathlon with Ben and Van Vilda. Uh, I thought about getting Ben in my team for uh, for next season, by the way. I know he's available. Um, he's a bit on the old side. But I am a big fan of Ben O'Connor. So maybe I'll get him either way. Uh, race situation has developed a little bit. There was an attack at the summit of the um, Monte Nerone by Remco Venable. And Remco is now in a group ahead. Uh, don't tell me that this group is not pacing. João Almeida, please pace, brother. You're P2 of the GC. Um, I'm going to have to drop Max. But yeah, we've got a group. At, it's the reminder of the breakaway. Ethan Stone has fallen. But it's got Jan Christen. Uh, also, the, the, the breakaway breakaway is, is, is doing well. I'm going to try and have Nick Schultz come back in this main group, but I don't think that's possible. Max is going to protect Archie Ryan. Uh, the race has taken a turn I definitely did not see coming. 17k to go, 3k to go until the summit, or sorry, the start of Monte Petrano. We're a minute behind the Maglia Rossa of Remco Venepol. Okay. And we're on the way. The breakaway has a five minutes lead as Ben O'Connor has attacked alongside Jan Christen. Decathlon Jeter is really having a very, very start of a solid start of the season between him and, uh, and Pigan Soli. Crashes in A31. God, that's far behind. 7k to go. Max is doing a very good job. I'll see if I can catch. I don't know how much I can catch. I don't know. Like, I, I have no real idea as to what's going to happen. This was the toughest portion of the climb. I'll use the gel on Max. And hopefully we can come back. Lawson Craddock and Adam Yates are going to fight for the wins ahead. Pedrero de Casar have given up. Remco Venepol has dropped. Jan Christen Ben O'Connor. <laughs> Meanwhile, Archie Ryan and Max Paul coming back at their rate. A senator space. But they are coming back. The diesel of Archie Ryan well and truly in play here today. Seven riders left. In the group of the favorites, we've caught everyone bar Remco Venepol, the Belgian, the Maglia Rossa, still ahead as Max gives up a remarkable performance today by Max Paul. Thomas Logan in the wheel with Ben O'Connor. We've dropped the rest of the riders. It's a win today for Antonio Pedrero at the summit of the Monte Petrano, which looks a lot like the Angliero. P2 for Nance Peters, P3, no, P2 for Adam Yates, P3 for Nance Peters, P4, Lawson Craddock, Remco Venepol, Antonio de Cassan to fight for P5. Ra Archie Ryan is going to drop Thomas Glog. It's a strong performance by Archie Ryan. It's an even stronger performance by Remco Venepol, but P7 and second mostly of the favorites. Solid, solid day at the office today by Archie Ryan. Definitely could have done better had I followed the move of Remco Venepol, but of course, I didn't. And here is the general classification after one week of racing on this Giro d'Italia. Remco Venepol has a very comfortable cushion of 2 minutes and 31 seconds ahead of Archie Ryan. Jao Almeida is more than 3 minutes behind. Not a good day at all for Jao, who lost 3 minutes today. Ben O'Connor and Ilan Van Vilda positioning themselves in 4th and 5th for Decathlon as Max Paul heads to P6. The rest of the top 10 sees Adam Yates, Lenny Kemna, Jan Christen and Thomas Glog wrapping up the final positions. When it comes to the green, sorry, the um, the Chiclamino jersey, it is Jorge Meus. 
as my computer has decided to start drilling something, apologies if you hear it. The mountain classification is led by Adam Yates with 63 points, Bess Nguada. His Max Paul will have a battle throughout the entire Grand Tour with Jan Christen, but I suppose that Jan may have the edge on us. The best team is UAE, who overtakes everyone. Uh, we sit in P2, 34 seconds behind in the next episode. Some hills, some medium mountain, some sprint, some hills some cobbles and some mountains and some more mountains with some cobbles with his own colon hello like this but if you want to see said episode then do feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already and i'll catch you in the very very near future my name is guillaume have an amazing day see ya Pass me the funk, get your funk on girl and don't you ever let it go we're getting drunk in here and what comes next